Email stands for electronic mail and is a service which enables people to send messages anywhere in the world, instantly. There are a number of service providers offering free email accounts, but in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create and use a free Gmail account provided by Google. Open your browser and type www.gmail.com into the address bar, then press enter. Click on create an account. Enter your first and last name, then choose a desired login name. This will also become your email address. Choose a login which is based on your name, but remember that it cannot have any spaces in it. Then choose a password you can easily remember and continue to fill in the rest of the form. When finished, click on I accept, create my account. Your browser may ask you if it should remember your password. It's not a good idea to agree to this if you are working at a public computer such as at a library or an internet cafe. On the introduction page, click on show me my account. You'll be taken to the Gmail inbox. When Gmail first loads, you will see a number of pop-up information windows which it is useful to read through, but for this video we will close. By default, the first thing you'll see is your inbox. The column on the left is where you can select which folder to view such as Inbox, Sent Mail and Drafts, but for now let's look at your inbox. When you create a new account, you will automatically have three new emails from Google. Gmail displays the name of the person who sent the email on the left. To the right you will see the subject of any email and in grey next to that you will see the first few lines of any email. Lastly, Gmail shows you what time your email was sent to you. To view your email, simply click on it once. When you're finished reading your email, to get back to your other unread emails, simply click on Inbox. The number next to Inbox tells you how many unread emails you have. These are displayed in bold font. When you get an email from a friend, most often you'll want to reply. Simply open the email and below the message either click reply or simply click once in the message box. When you've finished typing your message you can use the built-in spell checker then simply click send. To create a new email, click Compose Mail. In the box next to the word To, type in your recipient's email address. Next to Subject, give your email a short heading. Then click in the main message box and begin typing your message. As with replying, when you're finished typing, you can use the spell check, then click Send. Gmail builds your email history in message threads. This means that every new email sent between two people appears below the previous one. This way it's easy to read a previous message and keep track of the conversation. Sometimes it's useful to view your sent messages. To do this, simply click on the sent mail button in the left hand column. If you wish to send another message to your same friend, simply click on your sent message. This will bring up the last message from you. Then, just as if you were replying, either click in the message box below the message or click reply. One of the great features of email is the ability to send links to other websites as well as the ability to send files as attachments. To send a link, click on the tab of the website you wish to send. Then, Click once in the address bar to highlight it in blue. Then right click on the address. Click copy. Then click on the Gmail tab to bring up your email. Then right click in the body of the message and click paste.
Another key feature of email is the ability to send files such as documents, images, and even small video and music files as attachments. To do this, click on Attach a File. This will open a new navigation window. Find where the file you wish to attach is saved on your computer, then double click on it to attach it. Once the blue indicator bar is fully loaded, your file will be attached and your email is ready to be sent. Enjoy your new email address. Experiment sending files and messages to friends, colleagues and relatives instantly anywhere in the world.